Space combat happens when two hostile fleets engage with each other, which in case of a colony attack, can include any orbital defenses it possesses. In any case, then a tactical battle will occur. The top UI elements shown from left to right. The attacking fleet stats panel, the battle progress bar, and the defending fleet stats panel. The battle progress bar shows the current might difference between the two fleets. Fleet stats can include the leading admiral if any is present for each fleet. Within a tactical space battle, the same camera controls are maintained. Click the middle mouse button and drag your mouse to move the camera, or use the WASD keys for this. You can also use the mouse wheel and QE keys to zoom in and out of the action. Clicking on any starship will select it. You can also do a drag box selection to select a group of ships. Right-clicking will give the selected starships an order, which in empty space will be to move, while over an enemy will be to attack it, using the default tactic chosen for the design. Remember that armor and shield damage is directional, so take that into account when maneuvering your ships. In the bottom left corner, you have the control group indicators and the group select buttons. You can set a control group by pressing control and a number. Then you can press that same number to immediately select the ships involved. The group's select buttons serve to select all ships according to type. From top to bottom, they are All, Fighters, Bombers, Capitals, Support, and Orbitals. In the selected starship panel, you can not only see the stats and health of the starship, but also issue basic orders such as Retreat, hunt strike craft, and activate abilities like boost engines, regenerate shields, and overload weapons. Abilities can be either active or passive, meaning they have to be activated or not. Activated abilities will work for a time only after activation, requiring then a cooldown period before being able to be used again. Some basic abilities come by default with the corresponding core modules. However, more advanced ones require the use of special support modules. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there are indicator toggles and time dilation panel. There are three possible indicator toggles, show weapon ranges, highlight squadrons, and show damage counters. Show weapon ranges will enable a hexagonal overlay indicating the maximum, green, optimal, yellow, and critical, red, weapon ranges of the starship. This indicates how much damage the weapons in each range can in total deal. Finally, in the time dilation panel, by clicking the corresponding arrows or pressing the corresponding hotkeys, the player can slow, repage, pause, spacebar, or speed up, avpage, the action at will.